we really start from scratch category and here we press init now we have a completely initialized instrument and the first sound i would like to choose is the acoustic piano here in the category of the piano i select the cfx concert like this okay all right it works and additionally as a second sound i press here the plus button and i would like to choose a pad in the category of the analog a and x sounds go back to the categories and here i select pad choir dark vintage pad is good okay and now i have piano and pad together very beautiful okay and the third sound i would like to use a fm sound fmx and here i select again a sound like classic 80s dx e piano let's check it out classic e piano and here i press i select the parts on off okay this is the e piano e piano with pad and e piano with pad and piano okay and now i would like to control all the sounds with the super knob the super knob is controlling the assignable buttons this is very important to understand and the real modulation sources are or the modulators are this assignable buttons these assignable buttons are basically the same or have the same function like for example the modulation wheel or the ribbon controller here on the left side or all other foot controllers what we can connect with the instrument that means the concept is that we assign first these assignable buttons in the first step and in the second step we connect the super knob with the functionality of the assignable buttons all right we start with a we go back to the to the first piano and we press edit here or also here on the panel okay and here you see the control assign page and as you can see the auto select function is on and auto select means that when I use the pitch bend wheel or the modulation wheel, automatically pops up the setting for the modulation wheel. Or if I select the super knob, then automatically the setting for the super knob is selected. Or when I select, for example, here, the first assignable, all the selections, all the settings are visible in case auto select is on all right the first thing i would like to do is to delete the existing assignment selected automatically by the performance let's simply delete everything okay so delete everything and now uh, nothing happens anymore and very important is also to use the common site and here again i see there are are a lot of settings I would like to delete first okay because I would like to do my own settings and no additional settings okay now everything is empty but as you can see as soon as I use the super knob all the assignable buttons are changing their values but this connection is a completely different story if I go back here and go to motion control you see this buttons this is the connection between the super knob 
and the assignable knobs. Switching them off, nothing happens, you see? If I switch them off, also the last one, yeah, nothing happens. And switching them on, the connection is done. And you see also, the connection is in different directions. For example, when I double click this, the first one, and I say here, for example, zero to, let's say, 1000, then it goes like this, all right? But there is a very easy possibility to set this up. I will show you later. The first step is that we assign these three assignable knobs to the functionality we want. And the function I want to define is controlling the volume of each part individually. So we are going back to this common page. We press the edit button over there. Auto select is on. The first step is to define the first assignable button. And so I go to the first assignable knob, this one, and you see the display has been changed to first to the first assignable knob. And here I select what I want to do. In this case, I would like to connect the functionality to the part parameters. And at the moment I have three independent parts. That means here I select part one. I want to control with this button the settings of part one. And this is basically the cable, part one to assign one, all right? Okay, enter. And now you see this is connected and what happens with the assignable knob? There is the connection. It leads to insert B EQ one at the moment, but I would like to control the simply the volume of this part. And that means here volume of part, right? And press enter. Okay, that's it basically. But you see here also the curve, which is also a very important thing. Uh, because this curve, curve at the moment is very flat. Uh, you can change the ratio up to 127. And then you see it goes from the absolute minimum to the absolute maximum. Right. So this is the first thing I have done for the first part. And now I would like to check it out. Here's the piano. And now I can control the piano using this assignable knob. Now I will do the same for the second assignable knob, but I forgot one very important thing. I will go back. This is really basically the most important thing. This is the naming. You see here, assignable knob one. Here is the name. And this is of course the piano. All right, here. And you see here on the left side, piano in the sub display. And I think this is very important because in this situation, in especially in live situation, you can also control by uh, manually this volume of the piano. And this is very important also to name it. All right, now we go to the next assignable button, which is here, the assignable knob number two. Auto select is still on and Let's start with the name. This is my pad sound. The analog ANX pad sound, very beautiful, by the way. Okay, here we start with our settings. And here I have to set up part two and the assignment to part two, all right? Part two, part two. So, and here this signal flow you see like this at the moment it is set to resonance okay i could delete it but i can also change it like here like this simply select select it and go to again to volume all right okay press enter and here the same story i would like to have it this volume 
from absolute minimum to absolute maximum. That means polarity B and the ratio 127. So, okay, let's check it again. Uh, here it goes from part two. Part two assign goes to volume of the part two parameter. All right, let's check it. Go back, exit, switch the pad sound on. Yeah, and now you see it works fine. Yeah, this is the piano. Yeah, also piano works and also the pad. Very nice. Okay, third step we go back to edit and this time we want to assign the third knob here. Auto select is on simply a little bit a movement and you see here assign knob number three. I start again with the naming because this is the DX sound. DX. Okay, it is of course the my favorite instrument DX7. All right, the name is already there. Then I say here this is my connection. You can also print uh, simply press enter. I want to look at part three and assignment number three. All right, enter. Part three to assignment number three goes to operator frequency. I change this to part parameter and part parameter like this. And I go to volume again and press enter. Again here, polarity B and from absolute minimum to absolute maximum. All right. So let's check it out. Go back, exit. Here is my piano. Here is my pad and here is my DX sound. Let's check it out. Very good. It works perfect. Okay. So now we have done basically everything. The next step is the, the setting for the super knob. And this is now really easy. I would like to start with the piano only. That means only piano and the, yeah, no pad and nothing else. And now pressing shift and left at the same time like this. You see here, knob value storage. And my end setting should be like this, that I have the piano, the DX and the pad together. Okay, of course here this is... Okay, let's, let's take the, let's take the pad a little bit back and a little bit more, more DX. And I store this to the right position like shift and right, right? So that means left position is like this, only the piano, yeah? And you can, and it's really, really fun to play now. Okay, that means here also you see the setting of these three uh, parts, what I did. And of course, now it is also possible to recall these settings directly by pressing this right button, left button and middle button, but the middle button isn't uh, set yet. We can do this also like this, that we say, okay, maybe something like this. Okay, this should be the middle position. That means a little bit like this, shift and press mid. And so I have the setting for right side, left side and middle. Yeah, left, 
right and middle okay perfect and now the next step should be or could be to store these settings also to the scene memories okay let's check the scene memories open simply the scene on the left side and you see here uh, super knob and all these beautiful things are off i switched them all on and the first setting is the piano only and i store this to the first scene like this shift and scene start okay the next setting should be yeah should be maybe like this okay let's go to uh, the second scene shift and press the number two and it is already stored and you see also here the button has ch is changed all right and we can do this like for example this and so i have three settings yeah which are available at any time for this performance okay now you have seen also here in the display is written piano pad and dx and you can do the same for all these other controllers which are available too the next important step is of course like always to store the edited performance and we go simply here to the right side to store store as new performance and we name it for example piano pad and dx all right the most important thing is to understand the sound the part is controlled by the assignable knobs not directly by the super knob the super knob is controlling the assignable knobs and the assignable knobs are responsible for the sound and there's one more thing if you go back to motion control you see here on the right side the super knob and as you can see you can select different types of colors as for example blue green black and white and many other things like you see here like for instance such a yellow one and then again saving and again storing to the performance a good idea to learn is also to have a look inside of existing performances the first live set what you see here is a good sounding piano but to learn the assignments it is not a good idea because you see that at least also there is no naming here on the left display and that's why i would like to select another one this one here is a good example to learn the programming of super knob and assignable knobs you see also here are used three different parts and going inside of the edit page you see also here the super knob is connected like we did before assign knob one here is uh, knob two as you can see knob three and all these things are very easy and very easy to understand here i select part one and you see also here part one is connected to volume part volume as you can see here and when i select another part the super knob and also 
the first knob is not connected to anything. Yeah? Only selecting part one shows me the controlling of the volume of part one. Now I select the second assignable knob. This is responsible for the second part. That's why I select the second part. And here you see second part is assigned to volume of the second part. And the same is for the third one. You see here part one, nothing, part two, nothing, but part three. Here is again selected the volume setting for this part. And if you go to common, you see all these things together. If you select the super knob, then you see the assignments for the first part, the second part, and the third part. And I think also this is a good example because everything is also named, as you can see here, piano volume, FM volume, and ANX volume. There are so many tutorials about this topic out there, but open speaking, I didn't understand ever anything. That's why I hope this time this tutorial helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.